up, my sugar peeps? Welcome back to Sugar's Unpolitetic Meal Channel. Yeah! <laughs> so today's gonna be a little bit different, guys, and I'm freaking excited. So make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to my channel. Oh, oh, oh. I love doing that, guys. It never gets old, you know? I took all the freaking things that I love, put them together in one, and we're gonna make a freaking galaxy aquarium set. Yeah, you heard me right. A full aquarium galaxy nail set. So if you want to stick around, grab you a drink, it's gonna be a long one. So let's do this. Woo! say thank you guys so much for loving me supporting me and just loving my work okay you guys push me to keep going so with that said let's do this all right so i do have an unboxing for you guys today it's going to be quick it's going to be easy it's just how it's going to be okay because i really want to get to the meat and potatoes of this video and that is the aquarium galaxy now oh yes the becky with the no hair is going to be our guest today again for the second time is she beautiful i'm so excited for this nail set yeah all right y'all you ready look at this so this is from var nail guys Look at this. It says, show your nails, shine your life. Yes, darling. Yo, I was like, <gasps> look at her. Oh my God. Oh my Lanta. I love these little heart poppy things. I don't know what this is. I was only supposed to get this, guys. They sent me extra. So Barnell was so kind to send me this set right here and I am officially an ambassador for them. So I do have a code with them and that will be linked as well for you guys look at this you guys oh my gosh this is the glass taco <gasps> oh, oh i don't have it yet oh my god look how beautiful this is y'all know i'm saving this bad boy okay you one of you guys may end up with this beautifulness any hoozle they included a gel color gel polish instruction manual Ooh, i like their manuals it's like super nice very detailed <gasps> even talks about the brush as well then here you go you guys can use this code as well so this is called thank you 25 and you get 25 percent off your next order so Hopefully, you know, you guys could use this, you know, on this set, because y'all are going to want this set. Out of this beautiful box here that I save. <laughs> I save all my boxes. Look at this. Just look at this beauty and just how, like, beautiful and high high class this is. Their gel polishes are without the ingredients linked to toxicity. They fly free, no formaldehyde, chlorine, BP, BHA, DPB, whatever, cruelty free, vegan friendly, and everything to 10 minutes, 15 mils, and the shelf life is three years. Ooh, guys, I'm so excited. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my lance. Let's open her up real quick. Oh my god, guys. Oh, I'm so excited. Look how just, just classy and beautiful. Oh, look at that brush. Oh, I love these brushes. I love these brushes. The way that they spread out on the nail. Let me see if there's a smell. No smell? That's amazing. What do you think about my beautiful little furry friend underneath us? Do you like my furry friend underneath us? We should give her a name. Shouldn't we make it fun and inviting and just get up? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh my god, it's so exciting, guys. So exciting. Ooh, six colors, 15 ml. Show your nail shine, professional gel. Look at this. I can never get over this. Can never get over this. Look how beautiful. Just look how beautiful this is, you guys. Wouldn't the ever loving, you know what? And look, it comes with another manual. So that's nice. quality products, and I absolutely love them. I wouldn't put anything on here that I don't use myself, guys. Okay, I just wanted to make sure that was clear. And I just want to thank Barnell for allowing me to review these for you guys and allowing me to create and be my creative self. So hopefully you guys love this beautiful nail set. I'm going to show you the swatches really quickly and the colors, and then we're going to get into this nail set. Woo! This, this one is called s11 rainbow candy this is the six piece gel polish kit and look at this so beautiful you guys oh my god oh my gosh y'all look at these freaking colors look at them look at them oh my god they are beautiful absolutely stunning jellies okay stunning so excited to do this now for you guys let's freaking do this Woo! tips here already ready to go for you guys i do have the half cover coffin 3xl and the full cover coffin 3xl for this nail design now we're going to be doing the galaxy look as the background so it has to be as thin as possible okay and if you haven't seen that video make sure you go check that video out of my first galaxy jelly set that i made prior be based off that but we're going to be making it into an aquarium now i need your nail palette we have our alcohol here we have our tweezers our basically all of our tools gel brush here which i absolutely love okay it's just i love it i don't know why and then these are the tools we're going to need for the space so i'm going to be using some reflective glitter top coat to mix in with our holographic black background for our galaxy which is going to give us that beautiful color we also have the milky white and the white as my uh cuticle oil as well and my my craft syringe to fill the inside as well as my bling gel because this bad boy right here is what we're going to be using along with that top coat 
to be able to create our set. So I am creating this set on my practice hand. So I'm showing you how to do it on a practice hand. Which, so for example, if you were doing this on your actual hands, this half cover tip will be placed at the free edge of your nail, okay? You're gonna glue that on and you're gonna add your base coat pretty much, okay? And whatever you want to your background, all right? So with the full cover tip, it's going to go on top of that like this, right? But because this is a practice hand, I have to show you guys this way. So I'm just gonna slide that up there like that and then push this up on top. Always have fun with it and trust the process, guys. Don't ever quit before you're ahead because y'all can do this. And we're just gonna be bold and mix them all together. This is our background. Isn't she just gorgeous? With an aquarium nail, guys, you wanna make sure that the background, if you are putting color on there, is thin as possible. So you have enough room to do everything, so you don't wanna layer too many layers on there. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I am just going to go ahead and fill this up with just this beautiful light black color here. And I'm gonna do super thin coats, guys. Super thin coats, just like in the other video. The sparkle is evenly distributed on the nail, just like so. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just kind of going to go around with my brush. I'm going to be doing it a tad bit different from the last time. I want to keep the middle not as dark, but the sides darker. So it's going to be kind of the same. But I'm not going to be going over the middle as much because I really want that color to pop, if that makes sense. So we're just going to go over the sides with our brush, doesn't matter. It can be a liner brush if you like as well. And I'm just gonna create that line just like so. I'm gonna take our bottom color and we're just gonna put it on there. You can marble it, you can put it however you want guys, but I want it rainbow style, so that's what we're gonna do. I'm just kinda putting it on here guys and then creating like that marble effect with the colors to create the color that we want. So add as much color as you want to guys, depending on however long your nail bed is, or your nail tip, depending on how long that is, that's how long your colors are gonna be, but totally up to you guys. This green isn't as pigmented, but it still works. So we're just, I'm literally just kind of shaking it around in there, getting it down in that yellow color. This blue is very pigmented, as you can see. So we're going to draw that within that green just to kind of make it look like it's flowing into each other. I think it looks really cool and I think it gives it something different, especially once we get all the other stuff on here. So like I said, very thin layers. It's a galaxy, so it can be however you want, right? So I wipe my brush off and go in with the next color. And this color is very pigmented. It's not as clear as the other colors. So I'm just gonna work that into the blue. Kind of pull it down a little bit. And then we're gonna bring it up all the way to the sides here so it's equal and even. Just like that, guys. No! <laughs> 
Hashi Beautiful. Woo! This is far where we can get creative, okay? Our little bit of this white, <clears throat> and we're just kind of gonna pull through that wet white. So this is a little bit different than I did it before, but this helps allow that white to kind of bloom out. To make it look that sparse color. It looks really super cool. Now, don't add too, too much, but that is how the background's gonna look, y'all. Right, guys so i have them all picked out and ready to go i'm gonna show you exactly everything that i do so that way you can see from each angle that is why i have this on the nail stand all right so this is when i'm going to take my bling at jail i use my gel brush from lgm pro good fair bit on here with this i'll just spread it down the nail like so not creating anything around the sides because the gel is thick enough that that tip is going to sit right down in that gel guys okay so I'm going to do a thin, thin layer, take a little bit extra, and I'm going to add some to just a little bit over the rim, right here. So this little rim is where it stops when it's in the practice hand. And I'm going to lightly, so I kind of put it on crooked, but it's all right. I'm going to make sure it is even on both sides. See this? You can see the line. I don't know. If, can you guys see that line right here? Okay, so it's already meshing to the nail tip on both sides, okay? You want as much free space in the inside as possible, so you don't wanna smoosh it down, and that takes away some of the inside surface area. No. So, right? So you can just kinda tap, 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 right? Just a little tiny bit. So this tip right here is kind of a different tip than what I normally use. And so it kind of sticks out a little bit on the edge here, okay? So none of this is touching, but this side's touching. But I think the problem is the nail tip that I used underneath is a little bit more curved than this, than the top nail tip, so it's okay. So you don't want to press too, too much on either side. Now we're going to flash cure this into place, and then the next step is where we add all of our stuff. See this surface area right here? So this surface area right here is what's going to allow everything to flow really nicely in there. And it's it's very, very well formed. So on the nail, if you can see right here, you can tell exactly where the nail, you know, has gripped to the nail bed. You can actually see a line there. Right here at the very top, you wanna make sure that this middle point here is attached. Then once this middle point is fully attached, so you can tell that it is fully attached here. There's no like open gaps right here, dead smack in the middle. All we have to do is fill in the sides here. So I do have an open gap here and a little one right here. Here's why I go over this. When you're putting any type of gel or acrylic on and you're filling this in, right? So sometimes when you're filling this in, you can get like, let me, I'm trying to figure out like the best way to explain it. Okay, so when you're putting this on and you're filling this all in, you can see where you're putting that on the nail tip, correct? So I'm going up over that nail tip, but you can see where it's leaving a line. I don't wanna see that because in the initial end process, it's gonna show to see the lines and etc. okay? I don't like to see that and I don't want to see that. I want it all to look smooth and beautiful. So you can take your brush and just kind of push up in there so you know you're getting up inside there. 
and then flatten it out as you go. And then I'll push down like that. So mainly the reason why I do go over this, and you don't have to guys, this is just what I do because I want it all to look like one, okay? So the only line you will see is where I filled, you know, where the nail tip stuck to the end of that. And that's just what I do, guys. Y'all don't have to do what I do. I'm going to push it up underneath this open part here so I know for a fact there is nothing sticking out, right? And I go up this way so I'm not hanging over this edge or getting it in the end of this. So that's why I choose to take it and just do this. And it will literally level out into itself. That's really nice. It's really, really nice. Okay, so you I don't know if you guys can see that. But you can see here, it's actually all the way up inside there. So I don't have to worry about it. I don't have to worry about pushing anything else up there. Also, I also go over the top of this for strength. And it doesn't look bulky. So as I'm doing this, I'm also going over the top again here. So it helps build that extra barrier in there. And it all just forms into one, guys. Well, it all levels out. And once it levels out, it looks beautiful. And you know that you've done filled in your sides. You know that you have your structure there. And you also know they're not going to break. Okay? Most people are like, oh, less filing, this and that. Well, I mean, you don't have to file if you don't want to. You know, you don't have to put this on here if you don't want to. I just choose to do that so I know. It literally makes it to where it's all leveled out, it's all one, and it's all sealed in rather nicely, okay? I let her level out just a tad bit, just a little bit, just to kind of bring it down, and then I will cure her for a full 60 seconds, guys. So I'm gonna show you. So the only line that you can actually see is where the top of the tip forms to the bottom of the tip, okay? I can catch it, but you can actually tell on the sides that it's all one. You can tell that it actually sealed on the sides, okay? So I'm trying to get the lighting just right where you can tell that there's a line there, but it's all one on both sides. So right here on this side, I didn't fill it in as much as I thought I did to where I evened that line out so it all looks like it's very nicely filled. And the side is also filled, it just, you know, you can kind of feel that tip, right? And that's not something you want when you're trying to go in, you want it like this where it's all one. So what I want to do is add just a little tiny bit on the side here. And I'm just showing you because I don't, you can see that line, I'm not like perfect at this guys, I just kind of found my way of doing it. But I'm, I'm a perfectionist and feel this tip. So if you go to file those sides, even just a little bit, you're gonna catch that tip and seal. So that is why I'm always cautious and I, you know, I want to make sure that it looks super slick like this. As you can see, you can't see that tip line. Okay, it's all in there. It's all one and it all leveled out really nicely. I just accidentally took too much off the side and didn't realize it when I cured it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and fix the side. Start cleaning up. Yeah. All right, guys. So we have our beautiful iridescent glitters. We have our holographic. We have our little three uh, SS crystals. We have our stars, our moons and stars. And then I found these guys. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab these mm, smaller moons. I'm going to do one bigger moon, just to see if they fit. I always have such a hard time with these. Oh my God. Yay. All right, so we do have a little gold. Well, that ain't no good. So we do have a little gold moon in there. Why not, right? So I'm going to add just the tiniest gold stars. Oh. I just want it full of stars and moons y'all know who, how i am oh my lanta <laughs> okay so we got one star two star and instead of using beads i'm using stars three uh let's do four because we have quite a bit in here yay yeah so we got some little stars and then we're gonna have a few of the glitter so with the glitter i'm gonna use a point of this guy this is the part that gets super duper like <gasps> not where you need it to go. <laughs> like, I would say it gets stuck. No matter what, look at that. Just wasting it. I'm gonna add these little guys, too. Oh, here we go. Go in. So we have a saw. Let's add just one moon. <gasps> Do you see why I don't like these things? And she fell right back in there. Oh. What the ever loving, you know what? Jiminy Chrysalis. <laughs> it's 
it's better on a paper towel, guys. That's where is it just me, or am I the only one that has these problems? Stay. This is the fun part, though. Yay! We have a moon and a star and a star. Stick to me. No, now you don't want to stick to me. Okay, great. Best thing to do. Oh, Lord, where'd you go? I don't know where it went. So stick it on your paper towel so you can get leverage. Like that. Did it go? It's pretty good for like at least the holographic portion of it. Can't get no more hollow in there, but it's all good. I just kind of tap it down and you can start to see where it's filling with all the glitter. And I just kind of want a different iridescent glitter. One of these glow in the dark stars. Hopefully it's not too... What in the Sam hell? Oh, oh. Oh, what in the ever-loving, you know what, where did it go? I have this little guy here to fill it up with. So here's the test, y'all. Mm. Oh my god, look at that. So technically, we don't have to put a lot of sparkle in there because the background's sparkly too, so that's going to be super sparkly. Alright, so there is no air bubble in there whatsoever, so this is what I'm going to do. I should have cut this off, honestly, but I'm just going to wipe it down and go in from there, alright? So I'm going to wipe this down really quickly. We're not leaking! Yay! I'm going to take my alcohol. I'm going to set her up, actually. I'm going to take my alcohol, and I'm going to take one of these guys, and then we're going to go ahead and wipe her down. Let's fill her, shall we? Because I have this extra thing on, I'm not going to be able to do what I normally do. And I wanted to get out of my comfort zone and not do the, the part, but I find it helpful. So, I'm just going to stick that in there like so. Just so it's completely covered. And I'm also going to bring it down back here. Everything in for you guys, so that way you guys can see everything that I'm doing which way I'm doing it and all that good stuff. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to do it like that. I'm going to put it in the thing for a full 60 seconds and go from there. And what do you guys think so far? Please let me know in the comments down below if you guys have tried aquarium nails, if you love them, if you haven't, have you learned something that will make it better? Let me know. So I'm just flapping it in the end here, right over that oil in the end part. I showed you the first one, now I'm going to show you my typical one after this one. Um, I wanted to show you all three ways so you can really see the difference in everything. So I really truly hope that it helps you guys in any way. Let me know in the comments down below. With this one, I'm going to be adding less glitter so that way you guys can see the background more because let's face it, I added so much glitter in the first two that you can barely see the background that's there. But I want you to really be able to tell so I'm just adding just a little bit of that glitter and you know, you learn along the way once you're doing stuff, right? Um, please forgive me, I am sick but Nevertheless, I hopefully you guys are in enjoying this very long and detailed video. If you guys want more videos like this from me, please let me know what I can do better or 
what you want more of um, in the comments down below. That would really help me out so freaking much. And I just want to say thank you all. I love y'all. And let's do the rest of this nail set. Woo! All right, guys. So we're going to move on and we're going to make the bottom of the third nail. So I'm going to just add it onto the form paper here and just big enough for the nail. I made it too big. Don't worry about that. <laughs> but I'm going to cure for a full 60 seconds and then I'm going to go in and add an, just another layer. Leave that on top and I'm going to take that off. I'm going to add it to the back, the back, the bottom of it and I'm going to push down on it and we're going to lightly flash cure that so that way it forms to the bottom of it. And once I flash cure it, then I will go ahead and put it in the lamp, the big lamp for a full another 60 seconds. Not filed these at all. I started to do this and realized I wasn't recording. So this is what they're looking like, guys. Very sparkly. Very sparkly, darling. All right, so first things first, we need to cut this guy here. And I'm going to be using these nippers, but your best bet is to use like a really nice, good pair of nippers. These are very dull. They're very old, okay? The nipping part is amazing because not only do you get to hear me grunt, <laughs> you also get to hear it smack into all these different places as it flies off the nail. Boom. Woo! Be careful where your eye shields. Eye shields are the best. Oh. Mm. It doesn't bother me to do this part, guys. It doesn't bother me one bit because I know that nothing's going anywhere and no seals are getting broken and yeah it's actually kind of fun mm -hmm. so oh, yeah. look at that so normally that doesn't crack all the way up here like that but the seals up here so we are all good so i get it down to like the very tippy tippy bit and then use my file just like that and then we'll go in with the clap okay nine ten so just depends guys so hopefully you enjoy this part not a lot of pressure because gel like this is very easy to file okay so just know that when you're filing you want to make sure just make sure you're checking all the angles between this and this to do what i need to do but i'm very cautious with it you can go in with this guy and just kind of feather it out and make sure it's all even very light pressure guys this is literally just evening anything out that you think is bumpy or anything like that ooh So really, you don't have to do much filing at all. I just like to go over it, just, just to kind of make it all. All one. And you can feel if there's any divots in it, you know, or anything like that. You'll be able to feel all of that. So I'm just making sure that this is all... All right, so this is where I make the ends nice and crisp. So, yeah. you guys look at these <laughs> i'm not gonna show them falling just yet but looky 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 i freaking love it love it love it love it so let's go ahead and put our top coat on i'm going to go in with the varnell glass top coat love this stuff it is really freaking good y'all look at the brush on this oh my god oh my god look at all the sparkle varnell has some really beautiful high quality products you guys they really truly do wow Look at that. It is a tad bit thinner than what I'm used to, but being that it's a glass top coat, it's really a glass top coat, and I really love that about this. Well, 
Look at your feet. Look how beautiful. Aren't they just beautiful? Look at that top coat shine, baby. Yes. Oh my gosh, I love it so freaking much. Oh. This is what they look like up close, you guys. And they just sparkle. My phone still doesn't do it justice, you guys. Still does not do it justice at all whatsoever. This is the final look, and I'm so excited! Please let me know what you guys think down below, and thank you to Varnell for, you know, allowing me to work with them and sending me over their most beautiful products. Guys, these products are high-quality products. I do have a discount code. It will be linked in the description, as well as the links for this set. Thank you guys so much. I think I went up to myself. Um, please let me know your true thoughts and feelings on how I did this video. I put a lot of time, effort, blood, sweat, and tears in this video, guys. So I really hope that you were able to not only get something out of it, um, but have fun while watching this video too. And you know, if you like what you see, make sure you smash that like button. Please, it helps me a lot. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you love this video, please make sure you comment on my video because it helps so much with the algorithm. But y'all. I love the galaxy, holographic, and rainbow, and glitter, and moons, and stars, and glow. Everything in one. This is everything in one, guys. Oh, my lengthy. She's a beautiful. Anyway, guys, that is all. That is the end of this video. I love you guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the flip side with another video. Love you. Bye.